Good morning guys, this is Joanne again from Tai Just came on I hope you guys have a great day. For today I wanted to kind of make a basic knowledge video just because there are a ton of um, items coming in and out of my videos and especially for beginners it's sometimes quite hard to follow what these items are, what they're for, what they're supposed to do, where they're placed and such. And even though as I explain them in the videos it still kind of gets tough to follow. I mean, I can remember for me starting starting out, it was like, what the heck are all of these artists? What they're for? And as time passed, I kind of got to know what they're for and such. But then again, there's so much. I think there are roughly 10 to 15 items in one single outfit. And if you have to learn and remember all these names and such, it's quite hard. So I wanted to make somewhat of a basic knowledge video. This one is going to be more of the under layers. What they're for, or what items you can use. Different items for one single effect, like uh, juban. There are various kinds of juban, like a two-piece, one-piece, a uh, fake color. Then again, um, my collection is limited to what I have, so I wanted to explain just very, very basic what I have and what is most commonly used. So, let's go. So, this is the first one. This is called a Han Juban, which is kind of yeah, a half Juban. It's like only the top part. Now, this is a different one. This has a full width color, like one of the regular Juban. So, I use this for mainly summer kimono. I have a one here, still in Still this package, I'm like showing you the color. I mean, there you can see it. it's more half width than that one. This is actually the very same, like the sleeves, you can see. It's kind of the same as this one, however, this is still in its packaging because it's brand new and I don't use it. Now you have like, this is one is cotton, the same as that one, but you have one in synthetic. That's like, this one is quite a big size actually, it's way too big for me, and I'm quite tall. And again, again that one here is cotton, and this one is synthetic, but it has the same kind of scalloped ledge, <laughs> lace edging as that one back there has. Now basically it's just used for yeah the very first under layer. It's like uh, the layer that absorbs all the sweat and such. That one is actually not brand new. I bought it second hand and it's stained all over. You might not see. Maybe if I zoom in a bit. Like you can see over there it's a bit stained. And there's a like that. Here you can also see the the full color with like the regular one. You see, here's where I usually enter the irishin or the color stiffener. This usually comes in combination with a skirt. Let me just grab it. So this is the skirt part. It has like a more cotton upper part. This one is uh, synthetic. This is actually a part of a two-piece juba. Now, usually they, uh, the hand juba will come with a skirt that is, has similar uh, lace edging as the, the hand juba. I don't have that particular one, so I just grabbed this one. They're basically the same with the cotton upper part and a different colored lower part. That one is mostly cotton as well. They are similar, just a wrap skirt that just wraps around. Uh, I usually have my padding already. See, so, yeah, I just sh shoot it without padding today. And then again, this goes all the way down to the ankles, or nearly the ankles. And you wear it underneath your jibba. So, this is basically what your first underlay should look like, minus that color, obviously. I just uh, quickly added a padding and then put the top on top of it. Like you have the skirt here. 
and then the top. Now, I usually prefer to put my padding underneath, but it's really kind of a personal preference whether you like it just on top of it, like this. it's more like that or just as I had it before so now getting onto the actual tube part as you can see for my mannequin I've put a regular uh, safety pour mind like safety and 100 centimeters I believe is the measurement because my mannequin is way smaller in the waist area than me myself so my usually padding belt is way less it's just not enough to cover the extreme waist so this here is actually a fake collar it's called a katan eri or eri sugata I've seen many names um, usually it's just fake collar uh, the term that I've seen the most actually you put the kimono on top of it and it just eliminates the um, the juba it's kind of handy for those people who get uh, hot very easily, who can't wear synthetics and such. Um, I got this one actually from a friend. I didn't have one. She had like two. Uh, mostly they are open on the bottom where she has uh, put a color stiffener in it and then soon it closed. Basically you just cross and then tie them down here. It's just in the back. Let me show you there. So in the back you can see it is kind of an extra strip of fabric with holes in it and that's where you cross the ties. Now you may find one of these uh, strips of fabric on Juban as well. If you can, you want, uh, you can use it and it just makes uh, the back of the collar just sit more down and stay down. Usually whenever I wear this, I you put an extra hemo uh, just in one of these holes because it just gives a little more extra security otherwise it might the, the back of the collar might creep up again during the day so yeah, this is basically how you use one of these they are very handy especially underneath uh, yukata to give a more of a little more yeah kimono feel rather than just a uh, yukata there we go so I just grabbed the top half of my two-piece tuba, just explaining a bit the various uh, tuban that you can use. As you can see, this has the same fabric as down here. Also, you see two ties, and let me show you how to tie them. You have this, the right part goes inside the left armpit so you have one the two there you can see the fabric again Bring them through. Tighten. Make sure this is all down. Into the front.
There we go. And now you can see the upper part and lower part being tied. Especially if you're bigger around the waist, uh, this is kind of a solution because you can tie them individually, which means there's less fabric and less problems to worry about. Now let me grab a full one piece tuba. So there you can see it, this is the full tuba. It's just one piece. This is actually my most used one because it's so comfortable. But then again, Juban will always come with a white collar. The other one you just saw who had a bit more of a colourful uh, collar on top is because I just put an uh, extra collar on top called a hat eri. Now I usually just wear a, a white bokan because that's just so much more convenient and I don't usually have the well, time and uh, motivation as well to f yeah figure with an uh, extra collar sew them on, take them off, um, yeah, it's just too much hassle for me. So you can see, and just you can always use the different methods to keep them tight, keep them close actually. Let me just grab a few items to show you. So the first one is just the quarrying belts, which is one of those um, elastic clips. Let me zoom in quite a bit. And there you can see it, uh, the clip. Yeah, just uh, you click the right side first, go all the way around, and then clip it onto the left collar. It's quite a usual. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's mostly used by uh, ladies who are more um, well have bigger breasts because it keeps it closed really, really good. Then you have a couple more with uh, using a uh, koshihimo. Let me just grab one of those. So here you can see it. I've put the middle of the koshihimo in the front, then bring them to the back, cross them, and bring them from the front where I put a little bow. Now, then again, this uh, jubon currently doesn't have any uh, color stiffener in it. Normally, you would have put the color stiffener in before you even put the jubon on. There we go. Um, you can use one of the data Jimmy, which is kind of a stiff sash. You can put them on top of this. Let me just grab one. So I just quickly tied one of the, my data Jimmy on top. This is a bit stiffer than and wider. This is almost 10 centimeters, I think. Again, just put the very middle one, like the half, and then just cross them in the back and then tie them in the front. As you can see, the hem was still underneath it. You can see kind of a bit here. And this is the back, as you can see, this is the back of the collar. And that the gym, you usually fold this one, uh, one of the sides up, so that's why it kind of looks messy. And again, this one is tied quite loose, so I usually would have tied a bit more.